Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumasethi. Today we'll see some of the DBT comments. Okay, we'll discuss in detail. So first one is that what, how to run a DBT model. So DBT model can be run with the help of DBT run hyphen M and the model M. And remember one thing, this all the commands are case sensitive. Okay, so DBT run hyphen M and the model M. So next one is that what, how to refer a DBT model. So see if you want to refer a DBT model by using select star from, so ref function and the model name. So by using ref function, we can able to refer a DBT model and we need to pass the model name. So third question is that what, how to run a DBT seeds. So seeds are nothing but it's a CSV files. Okay, for static data by using DBT seed, iPhone name and the seed name. So by this, we can able to run or execute the seeds. DBT seed, iPhone name and the seed name. So next question is that what, how to refer a DBT seed? Okay, so by using ref function, we can able to refer model or seed with the help of ref Zinza function. So Zinza function ref and the seed name we want to pass it. So fifth question is that what, how to initialize DBT project? So when you work on the DBT core, core we, should, we should go with the command DBT init. With the help of DBT init, we can able to make this function. So this is in dbt core, okay, in the dbt cloud, there is no command in the dbt core. Whenever you want to initialize any project, we should go for dbt init command. So next to, next to question is that what, how to execute and run the test cases. So by using dbt build hyphen m and the model name. So if you want to run the model and execute the test cases, we should go for build command, dbt build command. So see, now next thing is that what, okay, how to execute the test cases. Suppose if I want to execute test cases only what, we should go for dbt test hyphen m test name. If I want to run the model as well as test cases, we should go for dbt build command. If I want to run only the test cases, go for dbt test command. If I want to execute only model, go for dbt run command. This is very, very important. dbt run, dbt build, dbt test. One more time, very, very important question. So dbt run, versus dbt test versus dbt build command. Okay, we should know all the three differences. Next question is that what, how to run the documentation? Suppose what happened if I want the documentation dbt, we'll go for dbt docs generate. Whenever I exit this command, what happened? dbt automatically generate the documentation. So dbt docs generate. So next thing is that what, how to get the package dependence. Suppose if I want to do any package.yaml, suppose like utils package, expectation package, forge and package, I want to use in my project. Now what happened once we place the package in the package.yaml, we, we need to run dbt devs command. So whenever we run this command, what happened? The packages data will come into the, our project. We can able to use the functional, like nothing but importing. So how to import by using dbt devs command. So with the help of dbt depths command, we can able to import the functionality. Okay. Next question is that what? <coughs> how to run the snapshot? So snapshot is mainly for SCDs, slowly changing dimension. If you want to handle SCDs in Snowflake in dbt, we'll go for snapshot. Okay. How can we run by using dbt snapshot hyphen m and the snapshot thing? So snapshot hyphen m and the snapshot. Name. Okay. So next question is that what? How to run the macros? So macros are nothing but a reusability code. How can we execute or invoke the macros? So dbt run hyphen operation and the macro name. If any argument, we should pass the arguments one more time. So this is very important. dbt run hyphen operation and the macro name. So by calling, we can by executing, we can able to call any macro or we can able to invoke the macro. So dbt run hyphen operation macro name if any arguments we should pass the arguments like this we can able to make the functional okay so this is mainly for reusability purpose okay same same thing next question is that what how to handle schema changes schema changes nothing but what okay see if any details anything we change no we, we want to accommodate the schema changes how can you accommodate the schema changes by using what by using full refresh okay hyphen hyphen so see double iPhone full refresh. If I want to accommodate the thing, we can go for this function. Okay. And one more update is that what? Okay. Say so new DBT batch is going to start on 31st March. So if you are able to, you can able to reach out to me. Okay. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.